Pros. Jeff Gilbert hey, from Press Pros. Well, um, Coach talked a lot about fourth quarter and, and what that meant to be able to win a game in the fourth quarter today. What's your assessment feeling about all that? Yeah, you know, I think you know, it wasn't perfect, but a win is a win. And we were able to show that, you know, when the going gets tough and, and when, you know, maybe things aren't going our way, we're able to win the fourth quarter. And I think our defense did an unbelievable job, um, you know, of, of, of getting some stops, making some really big plays in that fourth quarter and getting us getting us a chance to go down there and put that last one in and, and give us give us the lead. For you guys on that last scoring drive versus the whole other part of the second half that preceded that first first down, man. That's what we talk about. We got to get that first first down, and, and you know the first play we, we I thought it was a great play call, um, you know versus their quarter they were running cover three again on that play, and it was it was perfect. You know Carnell did a good job getting some extra yards, and and once we had that, you know I felt like there wasn't any stopping us, and, and once we kind of get momentum going, man, like it's that's that's what we need, and we need to just get that first first down, one or two first downs, and. and once we get that, we got to get rolling. We can't we can't stall out. We're, we're way too explosive of an offense to, to stall out like we did in the third quarter. Over to the right, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Other than the two long touchdown passes and, and then of course the last drive, you guys really struggled offensively. To what do you attribute the struggles? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I really don't really don't know. Um, something I'm going to have to go back and look at the film on. Um, you know, I think I don't think we ran the ball as well as we wanted to today, um, and that you know a lot of our our passes were in the play action world so if you can't run the ball it's kind of hard to, to get into the play action world um, but you know I don't know I don't know what it was you know I don't know if there's one thing that we can put our finger on um, you know but we got to go back and look at the film and, and and get it corrected because we're in the playoffs now and this is you know every game is is the most important game and we we can't afford to you know put a put in performance out there that that we're not proud of like today and you know I think today will, will wake us up and and remind us that you know we got to just continue to grind every every single day, every single week, and um, you know, not not ever get complacent, man. Because you know, you never know, and especially, you know, I think Nebraska does some good things defensively. I think you know they they change up some looks on us. Um, you know, they do some funky stuff up front. So um, credit to them, but you know, we we were able to get it done, and a win is a win. Over to the left, Dan Hope, Eleven Warriors. Well, how do you think it affected you guys not having Josh Simmons out there today? And did it affect your decision making at all not having him in there at left tackle? No, it didn't affect my decision making at all. That I, that's not something I, I think about when I'm in the game. I got all the trust in the world in Zen and whoever is out there at left tackle. I mean, it's not affecting anything that I'm doing at all. You know, it, it's next man up mentality, and you got to have full full faith in that guy and. I hope Zen's all right, man. Um, I really do, praying for him. Um, you know, but I, I, I definitely, you know, when you lose a, a, a tackle with first round potential, like you know, it, it, it's tough. And you know, that's a, that's a dude that that we that we're gonna miss. But you know, I, I think Zen stepped up, and and you know, he's got to continue to continue to work. And hopefully, he's all right, man. I'm praying for him. Um, but it doesn't affect my decision making at all. Over to the right, Tim May on three. Thanks, Jerry. Uh, just two quick as well. Number one, on those deep balls, especially uh, the one right down the middle. I mean, obviously, Carnell Tate getting him involved was big, I think, for you guys. I've been in the second one uh, right on stride. It, how would you rate your deep ball throws today, <laughs> number one? And number two, did they present you guys with some maybe different looks up front? They seem, you know, they're a 3 3 5, but they had five, sometimes six guys up there and stuff. How much did that affect the run game? Because clearly you got to watch it on your pad. Yeah. Um, I think they did some did some interesting things up front, and that definitely messed with our run game a little bit. I think they they had like two blitzes that were like perfectly called into our runs. Um, you know, I don't know how that happens, but you know, it's just it's just part of the game. Sometimes it's a chess game, and you know, they made some good made, made some good moves. Um, deep ball wise, I, you know, we hit the ones that we had to, um, and you know, I just. I, I think it was good, and you know I, I'm not going to give myself a grade on it until I watch the film. Um, you know I think I maybe held up Carnell just a little bit. You know maybe just want to push him, push him down the field a little more, make it a little bit easier on him. But you know we got the perfect looks. You know we knew we wanted that that play to Carnell versus cover you know cover four mini. We got it. Um, you know we wanted to get in a condensed formation, get him into their cloud check, and get you know get the rover down for just a step. And yeah, I mean you can, you can catch a number four down the middle, so just put it up and let him go run under it. Over to the left, Rob Aller, Columbus Dispatch. Hey, Will, when the running game isn't working, do you does that put more pressure on you, knowing that you have got to make everything work on the passing game? Or does it free you up thinking, well, we can't run the ball, let's just let it fly. It's going to be all passing at this point. 
Um, that's a that's a good question. Um, you know, I think you can go either way with that. You know, I think you can say, you know, if you can't run the ball, it makes it harder to throw the ball play action wise. Um, you know, but I think at the same time, you know, I I don't I try not to worry about that. You know, it's it's one play at a time. Just execute what I have to do, what my job is. You know, obviously, you know, we want to run the ball better than we did and and, and get get ourselves ahead of the sticks more. Um, you know, but. For me, it, I, I wouldn't say it changes anything, man. My, my job is my job every single play, and um, you know I'm just trying to trying to take it one play at a time. Over to the right, Andy Backstrom, Letterman Row. Yeah, well, I think you guys had 10 total plays of those first four drives in the second half. You had seven passes in the second half. How are you saying locked in in those moments where you guys are going three and out, you have the pick there? How are you locked in on that drive where you guys do score and go 75 yards down the field? It's, you gotta gotta keep your head down, man. No matter how it's going. Um, you know, you got to stay locked in, and you know, I mean, I, I'm not gonna, not gonna let a couple of bad plays, you know, affect me. And I've, I've played a lot of ball. You know, I've had some games where things aren't going your way, and you got to find a way to win at the end. And that's what we did today. And you know, it's not always going to be pretty. Um, sometimes you got to scrap it out and make it work. You know, and, and it wasn't going our way in that third quarter. Um, you know, we're stalling out on drives, and it, it, it you know, it bugs me, man. I just like I. I I, I don't know. I haven't watched the film. I, it, it hurts, you know. I just I want to get back out there. I I don't know, man. It, it just irks me, you know. Um, just the competitor in me. I just I don't like that. But you know, we 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 kept our kept our heads down and and knew that you know our time was coming and we had to make some plays down the stretch and and we did. We're gonna go two more questions with Will Andy Anders, Eleven Warriors. Yeah, that last drive, it seemed like you got a little more involved in the run game. There's a couple of zone read keeps maybe and. Uh, moved the chains right before the touchdown. Uh, just uh, how much of the, the run game issues do you put on yourself? You know, you've talked about being sort of the run game coordinator on the field. Yeah, absolutely. I, I try to take responsibility for everything in this offense, you know, and, and I think that, um, you know, my ability to run the ball and pull the ball and run, you know, is a, is a really good effect on this offense. Um, and the more that I'm able to do that, the better. You know, I, I think – you know, I don't know if we had that much in this week, but I think I was a little more aggressive to the keep on that last drive, and and they had been, you know, they'd been kind of crashing in and, and taking the running back and over and over. I hadn't really pulled one yet, and um, you know, late in the game, um, when the game's on the line, you know, my legs come into the picture a lot more. And you know, we had a third down, we ran a little draw. Um, we had that one, you know, that one where I, I pulled off the rover guy. Um, you know, we were actually swiping back for the backside DM, but I was pulling off the the D gap defender. Um, just, you know, something they just get their eyes lost and just got to control it. But, you know, I, I, I do take responsibility. I, I want to, you know, facilitate everything through the offense. But, you know, obviously at the same time, it's, you know, everybody's job and, and we're all in this thing together, man. And, and you know, I'm, I, I'm not worried. We're going to go back to work and, and uh, figure out what we did wrong and, and fix it and move on because we got a big one next week. And final question, uh, left aisle, Steve Hellwagen, 24-7 Sports. <laughs> Couldn't let you get away without asking about that, going back to Pennsylvania to play Penn State. Just uh, your first thoughts about that. Will you be glued to the game tonight, watching them against uh, Wisconsin, I guess? I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I cannot wait. It's, uh, it's going to be a homecoming for me. I grew up a Penn State fan. I wanted to go there my whole life. They didn't think I was good enough. But uh, I guess we'll see next week if I was. Great. Will, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Go Bucks.